Hey guys, my name is Jason Wilson. I own Dane Fabrication in Des Moines, Iowa, specializing in custom iron and woodworking. Today I'm going to show you how to make a sculptural side table. For this project, you're going to need your plasma cutter, make welder, quarter inch plate of steel, clamps, uh, marble top, grinder, hood, safety goggles, chalk or a pin. Chalk's a little nicer because you can see your, uh, your lines with the plasma light. And then with your table legs, whatever you chose to draw out. Um, I cut this one out of cardboard. You're gonna take your cardboard cutout and trace it onto the quarter inch steel. So now we're gonna get ready to cut the quarter inch material. Remember to read and follow all labels in the owner's manual. I like the flexibility with the machine to cut up to 5 8 wall thickness with the material. It's lightweight, portable, but then I can also have a nice clean cut or a rough cut and it kind of adds a design detail into the custom projects that I work on. So now we have the three table legs cut out, we're going to go ahead and soften up the edges with the angle grinder. So after softening up the edges of the material with the sanding disc, I went ahead and gave the material a hand forged look. So now we're gonna take two of the table legs and tack weld the top with my Miller 211. And then we're gonna add the third leg and do a slight tack and then adjust the legs before we do the final welds. We're gonna go ahead and set up the Mullermatic 211 machine. With the auto set, it's pretty easy. You just select your thickness of material, the wire, and then the wire thickness, and then you're all set. So now I have the welds on the legs. I'm gonna go ahead and grind down the tack welds that I did in the beginning. Before you put on the top, you wanna to go ahead and make sure that the bottoms of the legs are nice and smooth just so they don't scratch the floors. So the next step, we need to attach the marble top to the base. You can either go to the hardware store and get a high grade adhesive and run a bead along the top of the quarter inch plates. Otherwise, I went ahead and bought a prefabricated disc that I'm gonna tack weld to the top and then add an extra amount of, of adhesive before I place the marble on the top. So now the marble is mounted to the table base. There's plenty of different options you can choose for patinas, clear coats, finishes. For more welding project ideas, check out millerwelds.com. To see more of my work, follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Dane Fabrication.